Hello everyone. I'm back with a video earlier than expected. Like I stated last time, this is an advanced project and hence I'll have to make it in two parts. Also, I was finally able to record some video and thus we have some extremely fast forwarded clips of me modifying the figure. Now, it's my first recording and it will take some time to get the orientation right. In this video itself, I had to cut out huge chunks where I was just out of the frame because I have a habit of holding the figure close to my face rather than making sure that it is in the frame. Now with that out of the way, let's get to the figure, shall we? So, when I first saw the Mirko figure, my attention was drawn to the muscular frame of the character. On top of that, the posing is very bodybuilder-like. Thus, I wanted to give Mirko a bodybuilding outfit, by which I, I don't mean the gym gear which you usually see, but rather the bikini that is worn in the competition. Now, I had no idea if, if that is a standard bikini or is it, it is something else. So I had to look it up and apparently it's, it's slightly different and well, I, I don't know if people generally wear it, but yeah, correct me if I'm, I'm wrong. I feel like they are specially for the competition, but either way, now keep in mind that the figure itself comes in the hero outfit and to add a whole new outfit, you have to remove the old one first. So I knew that I'll be getting into some serious remodeling work involving cutting and working with putty. I don't generally do such modifications because of time constraints and generally I get very impatient. So the last time I did something like this was around two years ago. The basic idea was to cut off a layer from the figure and then rebuild the body, then add the desired clothes. Sounds quite simple but requires a lot more expertise. For the rebuilding work, I chose to work with Tamiya Quick Dry Putty, which takes around 6 hours to set. Honestly, I'm not a big fan of putty because of how sticky it gets, but over time, I have learned that you can use moisturizer and paint thinner to make it more manageable. Also, the way the putty will react depends a lot on the weather conditions. On a humid day, a mixed batch would last longer before it starts to solidify and once that happens, working with it is a headache. Whereas on a cold and dry day, it will take longer for it to solidify, uh, sorry, it will happen quickly. And uh, so basically you'll have to work faster or you'll have to prepare small batches and work with them. And uh, so be before we get into the rest of it, I would like to uh, I would like to make it clear that if you plan to do any such thing, be very careful while cutting. Like as you have seen in the video, I used a, I used a standard paper cutter. People use kitchen knives as well. So basically to make the cutting easier, I generally heat up the figure a bit. Basically put it in boiling water or uh, use a hair dryer to heat it up so that uh, it, it generally makes it a little softer and easier to cut so you could do that but be very very careful i couldn't stress on this enough be very careful i have had accidents in the past but uh, yeah this time i was i was pretty careful as you can see although my fingers do get a bit close to the blade still <laughs> i would <laughs> i would recommend to to be as cautious as possible to avoid accidents because we don't want that happening. Now, uh, so once you are done with the putty, obviously you have to sand it and uh, basically you have to prepare the surface. So sanding is, is a headache, it takes a long time and if especially if you have to like bring something into shape, you'll have to do a lot of sanding. So when it comes to things like that, I have noticed that uh, using the thinner kind of makes it easier. 
so basically what i noticed is uh, when you use the thinner it kind of dissolves the top layer of the putty which makes it easier to spread so you can work with your fingers or the tools to like make it smooth and uh, even you could you could even use a little bit of moisturizer and it will do the same but i prefer using basically i use both of them so it it goes in a mix and you can you can have a smooth finish to the putty before it dries so so that once it is dried you don't have to do as much sanding so that's that's a tip that i would give to anyone who wants to start working with putty use a thinner make uh, have like your surface at least 80 to 90% ready so that you have to do very little sanding and then you're good to go so yeah i i did those things sanded it of course sanding was done off camera because uh, the dust it it gets everywhere and i have to make sure that that it doesn't get into my electronics so yeah that was that and i had to model it in parts so basically it took around 2 weeks because what happens is you have to uh, apply putty to a batch and then wait for it to dry before you start working on another part or uh, a section of the figure so so that like you you make sure that the putty is properly dried out so yeah you you have to take your time with it it's it's not something that can be done quickly but either way it's it's a fun process you you can take your time shape it the way you want and overall it's it's fun and uh, yeah so initially i did not plan on changing the hairstyle i was planning to leave the hairstyle as it is but unfortunately it was difficult to dismantle it during uh, like when when i was dismantling the figure removing the hair was quite difficult i couldn't do it so i had to cut it so once i did that i just decided okay fine i'll just make uh, change the hairstyle as well make it different and uh, yeah it's, it's i like the idea working with uh, like a new hairstyle trying different things because i haven't worked as much with putty so i don't have as much experience and this is all new stuff so it's fun it's it's really interesting to make these things although yeah i am not happy with the result that i got from the hair as you can see even uh, or rather as you will see in the end i haven't uh, applied surfacer and primer to the hair because uh, I'll be making it again with uh, with polymer clay. So just to remake the hair, I ordered polymer clay, and this is literally the first time I'll be working with it. So wish me luck. I hope it it handles better than putty, and uh, the results are are satisfactory. So yeah, basically remodeled the body, cut the whole thing up, remodeled the body. will be remaking the hair and uh, yeah will be painting it in the next part so as you can see this is a long process that's why i decided to divide it into two parts so that we can have more of video and more of me talking about these things and uh, yeah basically share the process with you so i'm happy i'm finally able to do these things and and get the videos to you and as usual if you have any questions feel free to comment leave a like if you enjoyed the process and hopefully you're looking forward to the next part that's all for this video and i hope you have a nice day